Taiwan's temples are enjoying a surge in interest as Taiwanese look to the forgotten gems within their national border. Have you ever heard of Taiwan's Angkor Wat? A newly restored temple garden in Tainan earned the moniker for its astonishing timeless ambience. Meanwhile, a Kaohsiung temple has a story of generosity and mutual support that inspires the heart of every visitor. Stepping into the garden, you're greeted by mottled walls and Buddhas everywhere in relief. Surrounded by banyan trees, the caves full of stalactites just round off the otherworldly atmosphere. Some are comparing it to Cambodia's famous giant temple complex. Uh, it's a bit like Angkor Wat, really worth a trip. This is Wanfo Temple, hidden in Tainan's rural Nanshi district. Inside lies the Little Patala Practice Garden. It was restored over 10 years ago, but was only recently opened to visitors. Once the temple guardians judged the new sculpture's brand new sheen had worn off enough. The garden has been restored to its original state. That sense of artificiality has worn away. The pandemic meant many people had nowhere to go, so it was the right time for us to open up. Meanwhile, in Kaohsiung's Tianliao district, all the walls are covered in stones and shells from floor to ceiling. Nicknamed the Stone Temple, this site has an amazing history. A business collapsed and the workers hadn't eaten for 10 days. They said they were all stealing guavas and other fruit. So I gave them food to eat and then they wanted to help us. After a business collapse left 500 migrant workers from Thailand homeless, Abbas Shi Tianhua fed and housed them for free. To thank her, they collected thousands of stones and shells to help construct a new temple building. Because we fed them, they were so kind in helping us stick the stones up. Inside the temple caves live many beautiful gods and goddesses, but the story of how the temple was made is even more inspiring.